Sort of sound like sort of sounded like under the sea right there, but I'm not gonna go into that tangent again. Not even a tangent, just like a reused joke of an old LP. And yeah, just because it's the last LP makes it an old LP. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. I make that reference way too many sinking times. Come on. Now, can I become the ultimate comeback queen? See, if I end up doing this, then I'm just wasting a super mega, mu mega mushroom. How many spaces do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's doable, it's just that I need to get a 16 or higher. Oh wait, no, I'd no, he's got 33 points, so it won't even matter. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, because he won that last minigame. Ah, oh, great, red space. I would need to get a 16 or higher, and I would need to get into the squadron that I want. So, it was likely not gonna happen. But, finally somebody gets a stinking star. The good news, however, is that all of them are in the same zone, and the star space is gonna appear in the same zone twice. And I'm on the way to the roulette, so I got a good chance of getting to where I wanna go. Uh, is it in the Greenland? It's in Greenland! Hooray! Green gets its own moment of happiness, which I didn't even know existed. Like seriously, that, I never really acknowledge just how pitiful that squadron is, it's really just, it's the teacup from Toad's Midway Madness basically, fish and drips. Uh, we've done this before. At least I remember the minigames I've done before. It'd be a really bad, like, I, whenever I'm, uh, playing a certain game, I'm always in the mood to watch other LPs of it, just because I'm in the mood of this, to absorb as much of this game as possible, but for Mario Party, it's a very bad idea because then I get, I get confused on which mini games I have and haven't played, so I shouldn't do that. Um, very rarely on the one side. Let's not mess it up. Uh, y A X R B Y. Yeah, it's very easy if you're a computer. I assume it would be evenly matched. This would be an evenly matched minigame if you were uh, four humans playing this, but like, if you're just one person like me, then like, basically, whoever, uh, whatever side the human's on is gonna win no matter what. Well, I never liked, like, I don't know, just taking in just how weird that tub looks. Because it's just big gaping mouth. It's just like, Bawr! What turn are we on? I'm curious. Ten turns, okay. I was just, like, way too impatient. I almost uh, got to the last five turns before finding that out. Uh, welcome to the dice game. We're gonna go... Why it takes so long for me to hit the thing? He's like, I'm new at this. I'm training to become a playable character in in the next 20 years. I don't actually know if it's been 20 years. That'd be no, it's not 20 years since Mario Party 4 came out. That would be kind of insane. I always say that like, uh, people always have a thing for like what will officially make them feel old. For me, it's when Diamond and Pearl gets a remake. That is when I will feel old because, oh jeez, my God, that will be weird to say the least. Uh, but it still hasn't happened yet. Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So, like, I'm sort of conflicted with let's go Pikachu and Eevee because, um, I don't know how I feel about the catching mechanic because it's like it's very sim it's the same mechanic as go. But, like, if you've seen my old Pokemon LPs, you know that my biggest complaint with the Pokemon games is catching Pokemon. It's annoying because it's a luck based thing, and I guess this doesn't really change the luck based aspect of it because it's still there. But, I don't know, I feel like because the luck-based aspect is still there, but you just seem more uninvolved with it because- MAGIC LAMP! Thank you. Because the luck-based aspect is still there, and you just seem very uninvolved with the process of uh, catching the Pokémon because you're not using your own Pokémon in the same battle, um, it's just sort of lame in that regard. It just doesn't make sense because, like, you've always- you use Pokemon to battle Pokemon, and like that's always like the first thing they teach you is that you gotta weaken the Pokemon before you catch it. So it's sort of weird that that's a thing. If they changed it to be a way that you catch Pokemon in a way that isn't luck based, then I would be okay with it. But the fact that they changed it in a way that make continues to make it luck based, but also just makes it more uninvolved for like the Pokemon that you have on your team already, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm against it in a very specific way that like other people are. Everyone else is just like, it's the go way instead of the original way. I don't like it. Yeah. But I am very happy that uh, go exists because it is, yeah, it's a fan service thing, but like, that's just uh, not really anything to complain about. It's just something that makes people happy. It's not replacing gen eight. So I'm weirded out because like, it's a fan service thing for like gen one, but at the same time, it 
gives you new things in it. Like, there's no... They confirmed that there's not going to be any new Pokemon in it, or, like, no Johto region or whatever. It's just going to be Gen 1. But at the same time, they're including Mega Evolutions? Which I don't understand, because... But you include them, they're not part of Gen 1, I just don't get it. So that kind of annoyed me because like, I was never a fan of Mega Evolutions because they only give them to the strongest Pokemon, the most fan favorites, like Charizard has two Mega Evolutions, of course he does because it's Charizard, and stinking like Metagross and Aggron Salamence, so they really need to get more powerful. Mega Rayquaza, are you serious? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me, I don't like it. And uh, same thing with the Alola forms, how they're only Kanto Pokemon who uh, got Alola forms. I just don't really like that, so I don't know. I would be more fan of it if they gave it to Pokemon that were more deserving of it. Or just like, I don't know, Gen 4 was my favorite because they ga just gave straight up evolutions to new Pokemon uh, and to old Pokemon that actually needed it. They made so many more old, old Pokemon viable. And the Mega Evolution thing, I appreciate them doing that for Pokemon like Salabi and Mawile, but... It's just like, why do you do it if it's like not a permanent evolution? I don't understand it. And it kind of uh, makes me sad that those Pokemon will never get evolutions now because uh, they got the Megas. But whatever. Hooey! It's the last five turns! That means it's time for the last five turns event. Are you ready? Uh, did anyone else get- I was the only one who got a ticket, really? Okay, cool. Uh, the left picture! What do we got? Oh, am I actually gonna get it? Oh, no. Pew! You actually could somewhat time this. If you're good at the roulette thing, I think there is a way that you could somewhat- uh, time this in your favor, but I don't know how to do it. So let's see the standings. Yoshi's first, Daisy second, Waluigi's third, dead last DK. That's his college nickname or something like that. I don't know. This is quite a match, but what happens next? There are many twists and turns ahead. And ladies and gentlemen, the last five turns, Roulette is about to start. Our wheel spinner will be DK. Like I said, if we get the coin multiplier, I'm gonna go ahead and reset because I don't care for it. Red spaces become Bowser spaces! Hilarious! You know all those red spaces? Well, they're Bowser spaces now. I like how he calls them hilarious. And that was a very quick roulette. Like, as soon as I talked about resetting, then, like, it just ended. It was really kind of funny. And, yeah, as if we haven't had enough stinking Bowser spaces already in this board. Now we have even more happening. Uh, DK is using a very... Okay, sure. Make it easier for me. Thanks, Donkey Kong. <laughs> if you look at my portrait right there... Uh... You couldn't really see right there, but uh, when the opponent gets swapped, then they look super dizzy because like they weren't expecting it. Even though they stand in position for it, I don't understand. But it's just like a very minor detail that they didn't have to put in, but they did, and it's kind of cool. Uh, Donkey Kong's going to... Uh, oh, god darn it! Jeez, really? Oh, now I, now I feel like I need to do a hashtag reset. Oh, god. I really hope I don't have to do any boards multiple times, because, like, they're on easy. I know Mario Party 4 really, really well. I'm pretty sure I have all the uh, bonus stars, except for Happening, because I haven't hit a Happening space yet, but... I don't like my opponents having stars! Yeah, whatever. Let's see where we're going next. Going to the blue zone. da boo dee da boo da Well, I got a lamp, so I don't really have to complain that much. Uh, Waluigi's turn next. Hurry up and get over to my turn. I want to go ahead and get the stinking thing. Thank you for using that so I don't have to worry about it later on. Be -de -be -de -be, the ultimate thigh gap. I don't know. <laughs> he gets a six. I thought it was a one for a second. And a two. A six to two. I'm thinking of a number between one and one hundred. What is it? It's a battle game. And that fire looks really realistic for some reason. Uh, we got... Five coins, hooray. A uh, new battle game at least? Nope, gotta go with the butterflies again. Didn't I say I was gonna like send a new song every time we go to this board? Or maybe I should just come up with actual good commentary for this board. I don't think a no, actually I do think a no. I just remembered a dream I had last night and very specific that I need to make a dream diary video. So I guess I can't tell it here. Uh, let's see, go catch the butterflies. Uh, go there. I feel like I... No, I remember, I said I was gonna have a song prepared for every time uh, I played this mini game, but then I wound up singing the song that I had prepared as the uh, Little Richard thing, so um, it doesn't work anymore. I could repeat it, but no, I must not for the sake of talking about- I feel like I've, at this point I'm talking about repeating myself more than I've actually been repeating myself, so I gotta stop repeating the- repeating acknowledgement over and over again. My nose is super itchy. I don't know if there's a butterfly on it or something like that. Have I ever told the ladybug story? I guess we could talk about that. 
Um, I have a immense hatred for ladybugs because of one time I had a ladybug pee on me. Like, I don't feel like that's something that anyone else could really say, just I had a ladybug on my finger and it peed on me and then it just left. <laughs> that's just a very special story and like, uh, my bathroom just gets filled with ladybugs every summer, I don't know why. I'm glad it's not like ants or something, but like, I don't know why it's ladybugs. And just my specific, uh, grievance against them to begin with, so I kind of would rather than not be in my bathroom all the stinking time in the summertime. But of course it just happens, cause... Ladybugs, I don't stinking know. Uh, yeah, I just completely crushed this minigame, as I always do. Okay, get to- oh, I just thought about- I don't think I've ever gotten to 69. Now that's my ultimate goal, to get to 69 in Butterfly Blitz. That'd be kind of hard to keep track of, though. Uh, how many coins I'm getting at the end? Oh, they tied for a second, which means I have to share stuff. Possibly, I don't know. But then it was only a five-coin battle, so... What evs? Let's see, uh, Magic Lamp. Don't do that, now I'm gonna waste any time. Uh, maybe, uh, that was kind of dumb, because I could- I should have at least checked to see what squadron I was gonna go to first. If I got to the wrong one, then I should have used it. Whatever, let's get ourselves a stinking star. Little Princess Daisy, Queen of Sarasa Land. I'm on the job, you big kebab. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend like me. I got the stuff. <laughs> I did it! Hooray! Oh my god! They're both in the blue squatch. Okay, I take back what I said about not wanting to have used it right then and there. Go and do that. Number eight. One, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven, and hey, we finally got a mushroom space this board. Tiny box, tiny mushroom. Oh, that's super lucky that they both appear. Okay, Yoshi's got a good idea up, up his non-existent sleeves. Oh, I see what he's doing. Also, the thing I don't like is that the background, when you look at it, it's just the character posted over and over again. Uh, see, there's just a bunch of Goombas in the back, so you actually never have a background. It's just the underground that you see different stylistic things of, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, four-player minigame, we got anything new? Stamp out? Yeah, stamp out, new minigame. Uh, try to stamp as much of your color as possible. If everyone stamps less than 5% of the field, it's a tie. Change the direction and jump. <coughs> I'm dying. Hold A longer... Holding A longer allows you to jump farther. Experiment to find the power that works for you. I always feel like this is a battle mini game, but it isn't. So, whatever. Uh, it's sort of like the same area as like that crayon one, so I guess that's why I always get that mistake. Uh, but yeah, I just gotta cover it up as much as possible. Just like to go as fast as I can. Uh, just make a little tiny hop so you don't end up like repeating your stamp presses. And then you eventually go for whatever everyone else is. Hooray! Ruining their work. Yay! And I just gotta say how like aesthetically pleasing it is to see a yellow a yellow stamp go over different colors and not get like completely ruined. Because I remember those like the worst thing ever when you got a new set of markers in kindergarten, and the yellow one was so stinking delicate you couldn't even breathe on it without like it getting some sort of color mixed into it. It was super annoying. And I won! Hooray! Daisy won! 